Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Daniel Mann. By the time you're watching this, you're probably on lockdown somewhere, bored out of your brain, so hopefully this can alleviate some of that boredom for just a few minutes. Unfortunately, I can't get out diving at the moment and my trip to Norway for seven days diving has been scrapped due to coronavirus. I was set to fly there in about 10 days time. Can't do that. I was really looking forward to getting some cool footage out there for you guys, but it'll have to wait till next year. So I've been looking through my archival footage and I decided over the next few videos, I'm going to try and focus on specific species in Australia and around the world for that matter, and give you a few tips, explore these fish, and hopefully get an insight into what it takes to try and shoot one. Today's video is about the black spot tusk fish. These are also known as tuskies or blue bones if you're up in the northern parts of Australia. They are not a parrotfish and just stop if you think this is a parrotfish. It's not a parrotfish. Parrotfish have a beak like a parrot. These have tusks or pegs for teeth as you can see clearly here. So it's not a parrotfish. Please don't say it's a parrotfish. It's not a parrotfish. They are found in Australia and through the Indo-Pacific regions. On the west coast of Australia, you start getting them north of Shark Bay. On the east coast, you start getting them north of Brisbane. These fish are commonly seen around three to six kilograms, but anything over 10 kilos is considered an absolute beast. And the Australian record stands at an, it's, it's disgusting. It's 17.045 kilos. That thing, that is just a behemoth. What a fish. The diet of these fish consists mostly of crabs and shells, so therefore you're going to find them on rubble bottom, coffee rock, and sandy areas adjacent to reef. It's not often that you'll see them right in and amongst coral areas, they're often next to the big structures on the sand lines, moseying around looking for these crabs and shells. Like most fish, tuskfish will also hang around wrecks. You can find them in all sorts of depths. I've shot them in five meters, all the way down to 30 meters. In popular spots offshore Brisbane, you're going to have to dive a little bit deeper for them because they do get shot out of the shallower areas quite quickly. They're not afraid of dirty water as well. You'll often find them on coastal areas in North Queensland and Western Australia where the visibility isn't so good. You can also get them in extremely clean water on offshore areas on reefs and pinnacles. The best way to get a shot on a tusk fish is either dive bombing straight from the top where there are two eyes out the side can't see you coming from above or you get right to the bottom throw up a bit of sand and scratch around a little bit and that will rouse their curiosity like most fish really and they'll come straight in and hopefully turn broadside and you can put a good shot in these are really powerful fish and if you don't shoot them well they are going to absolutely smoke you through the reef just like this The best shot for a black spot tusk fish is right behind the eye because you will likely get a stone shot. If you don't get a stone shot, you've got control of the fish's head and you can pull it away from any reef or ledges that it might be going under. If you don't shoot it correctly, it's going to end up under a piece of rock and it will require a few dives to get it out. Thanks, Tim. 
you want to specifically target tusk fish, make sure you use a nuff gun. They're a very thick set fish and they have big scales. I've seen many divers shoot them, get the scale stuck on their spear, the flopper doesn't open and the fish swims off. Use a nuff gun. For me, black spot tusk fish are one of my favorite fish in the world to eat. They have firm, thick white fillets that stay moist when you cook them. The wings off the fish are also sensational if you barbecue them. The only downside to black spot tusk fish is they tend to be very slimy, so filleting can be a little bit challenging at times. Interesting to note, like Marlin, these tusk fish have a closed gill cover like that. It actually covers the entire gill plate with this little bit here. Maybe it makes them go faster in the water. I don't know, but pretty cool to see that. I hope you enjoyed this brief insight into black spot tusk fish. I'm going to be doing a lot more species profiles like this. So if you want to see more of those while you're in quarantine, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like it if you got something out of this video and I'll see you on the next one.